Now, verse 16, so we'll come back to Hiram again a little bit later. Verse 16, you get John C. Bennett, who is... What a character. He, wow, this guy has a history where he's been in multiple states as the dean of this this medical school that he's set up to, to train doctors and give them their medical licenses. Well, a bit of a diploma mill. Yeah, you have the money, I'll sign the paper, and you are now, you pay me enough, I'll, I'll make you a doctor right, right now without the training, is what's happened. And he's a very, very smooth talker, a, a real people person. And he comes to Nauvoo, and instantly everyone loves John C. Bennett. He's, he, Joseph is a very trusting individual. He's a he's the he's kind like of a, a guy little, who gives the benefit of the doubt. He's like a little child. He just assumes the best in everybody, which is actually a pretty nice it's way a nice to live. Trait. As long as nobody is taking advantage of you. Yeah. Well, John C. Bennett comes in. He's very very quickly rises to power, and he's he is elected the mayor of Nauvoo. Well, he also was helped pass the Nauvoo Charter through the Illinois Legislature, which gives all this. Uh, power and authority to the city to be able to protect the people, which they were looking for. So people are deeply grateful for the efforts of John C. Bennett to give them this charter with so many protections. But he becomes the chancellor of the university. He gets the a high head of the militia. He, he's got all this power, and it's all within just a series of months. In fact, we were talking earlier about the two major buildings they're building at this time, the temple and the Nauvoo House, which is supposed to be built to house dignitaries and illustrious people. Well, Joseph Smith's been in a tent, and John C. Bennett gets a very nice room in the Nauvoo house. Yes. So uh, it's fascinating. At one point, there the the Nauvoo Legion is having some field work, and John C. Bennett tells Joseph on this sham battle, he sends Joseph over to an unprotected place in that battle, and the spirit whispers to Joseph, "No." There's foul play here, almost as if we don't know exactly what would have happened, but the prophet said he felt the spirit constrain him. Don't go over to that unprotected place. John C. Bennett has something, some nefarious uh, intent here, and so it was eight days later that things start to unravel for uh, John C. Bennett and John Taylor. He he later on said this. Quote, respecting John C. Bennett, I was well acquainted with him. At one time he was a good man, but he fell into adultery and was cut off from the church for his iniquity. Um, at the time of the revelation here, section 124, John Taylor says, John C. Bennett was a good man, but he was overcome by the adversary and made the slave of his carnal desires. The Lord knew him and warned him, his reward shall not fail if he receive counsel, he shall be great if he do this, etc. Bennett did not heed these warning ifs from him who knew what was in his heart. You will find those warning ifs in verse, the bottom of verse 16, and two of them in 17. You could circle them. Once again, the Lord gives these conditional uh, ifs to us got these promises, but in this case, John C. Bennett is going to become one of the leaders of the groups that are stirring up the mob that eventually, three years later, is going to lead to the martyrdom in Carthage jail. It's just sad. Both of these two counselors, William Law, John C. Bennett, who had so much promise, both had given in to their base desires actually many base desires, and just a really sad story of what could have been. And what I love is that God gives all of us opportunities to get to our very best selves through him if we choose to diligently continue to try. That's the power of the sacrament every single week. You get to declare again, Lord, it is my desire to be with you. It is my desire to be faithful to you. And these are just cautionary tales. Yeah. And also just sad, just the, the destruction that they caused, not just in their own lives, but in the lives of so many people.